Hi, and this is item M202, Arthur Bear, and I'm with Lyndon Owen here today to tell me all about it. So, hi again, Lyndon. Thanks, Conrad. And tell nice me all about Arthur. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Bear. Um, well, we've done considerable work in, uh, in the world of uh, music with dementia. Yes. And we have our music player, which you carry. Um, Absolutely. And because of the success of that, we started to look at how profound the effect of uh, music on people with dementia was. Yeah. And the music player is very much a mid-stage dementia issue because it requires some interaction from the person with dementia. Yes. What we then wanted to do is look at late stage and still keep that empowerment or at least that engagement that music gives yeah. for, the, for the person. But they really haven't got the, um, the, the drive or the will just to have, an, have the idea of, I'll put some music on. Yeah. So we developed Arthur, and it's not meant for the person to dementia to go, oh, I will go and pick up this bear and make it work and play music. Yeah. It's really for the, the, the later stages of dementia where a friend or a carer would bring it to them, switch it on, and leave it with them. Right, okay, but we've, yes. we've built a number of features in there, which are hopefully are good for the user, uh, as in the person with dementia, and also easy for the carer or whoever's going to change the music and Absolutely. perform on it. So it comes in a box, and uh, the reason I wanted to show the box is a nice picture of Arthur on the front. Yes. But it has all the instructions as well in pictorial form. Right, okay, yeah. Um, we'll make it very simple. Okay, it's a very simple thing, and as you know, all our designs are very simple. We don't put functionality in for just because we can. No. So here we have Arthur. So uh, yeah. a teddy bear. Excellent. And also in the box, you get some quick start instructions and things like washing instructions. Um, don't put him in the dishwasher. Right. Uh, USB cable, which yep. you need. Um, Super stuff. So how easy is it to clean then? Um, oh, well, there's uh, kind of three things you can do. Uh, get the hoover on him. All right. Um, uh, a good cleaning thing is bicarb soda. Just sprinkle that on. Right. Or, or baking soda would do it, actually. And then hoover him off. Yeah. That gets that attacks a lot of the grease that you get off your hands. Right, okay. Um, if you really need to do it, uh, uh, if it's really dirty, um, get a washing up bowl, uh, put washing up liquid in, <coughs> foam it. Right, yeah. Get a sponge, just take the foam and rub the foam in. Okay, yeah. yeah? Don't dip him in Don't water. Don't submerse him in water. <coughs> There's electronics inside it, yeah. so it's going to go. Well, the whole point is um, a carer would, would come, give it to the person with dementia, and there's a pause button. Right, okay, on his pause, yeah. <laughs> on his pause, <laughs> <Very yeah. appropriate. laughs> And all they have to do is press it. Right. And away he goes. That sounds really clear as well. Very well, good. Yeah, it, it needs yeah. to be. Um, and that's the thing. So Arthur plays a continuous loop of tunes you've put in there. Yeah. But also, um, you stop start with that, and it, it, it resumes from where you played. Okay, yeah. 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 But also, if it's a bedtime thing, which often it will be as a comforty, you know, and yeah. drop off to sleep, it cuts off after 30 minutes. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. yeah, good idea. So it also saves the batteries as well, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but the other features we've, you know, uh, I've mentioned before, we're a design company. We're not particularly in healthcare. So, it's, so what we want to do, I mean, you could say it's just a teddy bear with a MP3 player in, and fundamentally that's what it is. Yeah. But if you design it for someone with dementia, you want to do all the right things. Absolutely. So, for a start, um, the nose, the eyes, they're all sewn. They're not buttons. Right. So okay, they're so they're, they're, yeah. and they're soft because they're going to be... Scratch yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no scratches and, you know, they're not going to come off and, and swallow them. And um, so the other features are, we've, we've actually put some weights in his backside. Right. Because... It feels weighty, and therefore you've you've got some comfort issue if you absolutely. If you, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got he's got. Wow, some, yeah, he's yeah, quite heavy, yeah, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so it's, thing. yeah, it's not just a, a little yeah. <laughs> Very another tactile. soft toy. Yeah, and we've also had the fur made for us. Right. Um, so it is this really soft thing. Yeah. And also we've put a different fur on the feet, so yes. it's a different if it, it's a different tactile experience. Ah, uh, very So clever. we've got very all clever. those issues. Um, so for the person with dementia, it's, it's, it's an object that can be loved or cared for. Um, it plays the music, and again, we've, with the music player we've spoken, it's particularly important to have tunes that the person with dementia was probably listening to between the age of 15 and 25. Yes. You don't need a lot of tunes on here. No. Again, it's got massive capacity, yep. far more than you would ever need. Um, 
but um, you know, 20 tunes is probably ample, p- probably ample for yeah. both. And there's that familiarity of the tunes, yes. which, which is also the thing, you know, a vast range of tunes will actually get away from those particular memories of those times of life. I totally agree, absolutely. How do you control the volume? Uh, yeah, um, again, we wouldn't expect uh, the person with dementia to be involved with this whatsoever. No. So it is a carer thing, they press that pause button, that's it. You know? right. But how do we control the volume? In the back, we have a Velcro slot. Okay. We have a little control box. Right. Okay. Excellent. That's everything. So the battery's in there. Yeah. Um, you have um, up and down, you just pr- press and hold those buttons. As okay. it's playing, it will get louder and quieter. Um, and we also have uh, a couple of little switches in there, yes. which are for one time only. One's a general power switch. Okay. So when it comes, it's off. Yes. Um, and it won't work unless it's put on. But it saves the battery. Yes. And it has one other function. You, you noticed I said it, it stops and starts in the same place. Yeah. If you turn it off whilst it's playing, it will reset Resets. it right back to the beginning. So, okay. so if you've got a, t- a story in there or something, yes, it will start at the beginning of the story. Oh, very as clever. Opposed to next time you have it, it starts halfway through or something. And um, the other little set of switches, um, one is it just plays in a loop sequentially, yeah. the other one's a, a random button, so the next tune no, n- won't necessarily be in that order, so it just mixes them up a bit. Brilliant. Simple, but effective. Yep. Fantastic. So there we have item number M202 from E2L Products, and it's Arthur, the musical bear. So we're combining music therapy and sensory, both in one. Arthur Bear, item number M202. <laughs> 